say cheese, with collective exhibits and retrospectives and one-woman shows and exposures and juxtapositions, this is one photography happy week. While the photo exhibits will take you all over the world and into your imagination, you'll also find dance, philosophy, and gastronomy to enrich in your life. Celebrate Valentine's Day, either for or against. Please your palate with foreign cuisine, immerse yourself in art, and so much more. This week's edition of Don't Miss This covers the week of Sunday, February 12th through Saturday, February 18th through Saturday, February 18th, 2023. So one more time. This week's edition of Don't Miss This covers the week of Sunday, February 12th Sunday, February 12th through Saturday, February 18th, 2023. Rest up at the beginning of this week, my friends, because beginning on Tuesday, February 14th, this week is going to kick off a marathon of incredible events in our fair city. First up, a new exhibit at the Jeux de Pomme that's been called Strange, Disturbing, and Mysterious, and will make you rethink his- and will make you rethink history. Le bégayement de l'histoire, or The Stuttering of History. This exhibit will feature the work of French photographer Thomas, Dem- Thomas Demand, who creates Thomas Demand. I mean, I can say Thomas Demand. This, this exhibit will feature the work of French photographer Thomas Demand, who creates his work in his own unique way. What he does is he takes oversized photographs and uses them to create three-dimensional sculptures. And these sculptures are reproductions of real places and real scenes, but without the people in them that made them historic. He then photographs these sculptures, producing an altered reality and causing you, the viewer, to question what would have happened if these small events had shifted the landscapes of our lives. Oh, to question what would have happened if these small events that shifted the landscapes of our lives had never happened. Quote, These seemingly mundane images are more and more disturbing each time you look at them. And when you discover the stories behind these photographs, the works are even more disconcerting. Thomas Dumont depicts the room Thomas Dumont, Thomas Dumont depicts the room that Bill Gates occupied at Harvard, the room where Hitler dodged an attack. The vault in which paintings and sculptures that disappeared, the vault in which paintings and sculptures that disappeared were found by chance. Each photograph immortalizes, each photograph immortalizes a moment, a space important for the history of mankind. End quote. Le bégayement, le bégayement de l'histoire will be at the Jeux de Pomme from Tuesday, February fourteenth through May twenty eighth, and full price tickets are twelve euros. For more information, please visit jeudepam.org. That's J-E-U-D-E-P-A-U-M-E dot org. <clears throat> if the Thomas de Monde exhibit has whet your appetite for photography, you'll love the two new exhibits coming to the Henri Cartier-Bresson Foundation. The first, Henri Cartier-Bresson L. The first, Henri Cartier Bresson Helen Levitt, Mexico, Helen Levitt, Mexico, features the foundation's namesake himself and is crafted from photos that Henri Cartier Bresson and Helen Levitt's trips to Mexico in the 1930s. And is crafted from photos from Henri Cartier Bresson and, Hel- and Helen Levitt's trips to Mexico City in the 1930s. Henri left first, spending nine months overseas and Helen after, inspired by his impressions. Both were transformed, and this exhibit is meant to create a dialogue between the two artists, juxtaposing their experiences, their encounters, and their discoveries. In total, you'll find, in total, you'll find around 60 prints, along with personal documents from their trips. The second exhibit is called Paul Strand ou l'Equilibre, Ou l'équilibre des forces, or Paul Strand or the Balance of Forces, and features the work of American photographer, you guessed it, Paul Strand. In an exhibit featuring around 120 of his photos, 
taken in the streets of New York City, Mexico, France, and Moscow, you'll get to know the photographer through his pure photography, a movement that promotes realism and objectivism as opposed to artistic interpretation, creating pieces that are documentary tools and forces of political activism. Henri Cartier-Bresson, Helen Levitt, Mexico, and Paul Strand, où l'équilibre des forces will be at the Fondation Henri Cartier-Bresson from Tuesday, February 14th through April 23rd. And more information can be found at henricartierbresson.org. That's H-E-N-R-I-C-A-R-T-I-E-R B-R-E-S-S-O-N dot org. All right, well, we can't skate by February 14th without mention Valentine's Day. All right, well, we can't skate by February 14th without mentioning Valentine's Day, can we? For one night only, the Rodin Museum is holding a soiree love, during which you and your amoureux or amoureuse, can wander through the museum and its garden. And the theme of the evening? Ange ou démon, angel or demon. While you stroll between the kiss and the gates of hell, you can immerse yourselves in the stories behind the creations. Listen to musicians playing within the museum's walls. Take part in an origami workshop. Visit the photo book. Visit the photo booth with your paramour, sip drinks at the bar, and, inspired by the Rêve d'Egypte exhibit, learn to write I love you in hieroglyphics. Soiree Love will be at the Musée Rodin on Tuesday, February 14th, with time slots every hour from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., and reservations are required. Full price tickets are 27 euros. For more information, please visit musee-rodin.fr. That's M-U-S-E-E-R-O-D-I-N dot F-R. The very next day, Lafayette Anticipations will take you on a, quote, journey through the relationships we build with the living, through gestures, ways of billing, ways of being, and ceremonies that celebrate wonder and awe while, engage, while engaging with the mysteries and powers of the earth, end quote. Through a mixture of visual and living arts, 20 contemporary artists will showcase their work in a collective exhibit called Au-delà, or Beyond. This exhibit is divided into three parts. The first opens with Quote, a ritual scene intertwining the sacred and the profane, the ancient and the contemporary, end quote. The second questions, quote, the very essence of transcendent, <laughs> the very essence of, the very essence of transcendence and metaphor. Why, what, why can't I say these words? <sighs> the second questions, quote, the very essence of transience, of transcendence. Okay, The very essence of transcendence and metamorphosis, the fine line between life and death, the cyclicality of all existence, end quote, while the third part focuses on, quote, the power of the spirit of collective rebirth, dance, and the new sacred, end quote. You're invited to find choreographed rituals, moments of meditations, and to transform pieces into totems to celebrate, quote, the happy rebirth of a bruised world, end quote. Au-delà will be at Lafayette Anticipations from Wednesday, February 15th through May 7th and is free to attend. More information can be found at lafayetteanticipations.com. <clears throat> From Valentine's Day and beyond to anti-Valentine's Day, let's take a quick stroll through the Parc des Butchermont to Rosa Bonheur for une soirée anti-Valentine. What can you expect? What can you expect for this anti-Valentine's Day? Well, in solidarity with and for the LGBTQIA+ community, Virginie Despont. Despont, yeah. Virginie Despont, Despont, Despont. 
Despont, author of Cher Connard, will lead up a raffle. Barbara Butch will spin a DJ set. There will be a sex talk based around the game Discutant. And the magazine La Deferlante. Deferland. La Deferlante will release their new issue, their new issue, Busy. The whole evening is being organized by Et Avant Tut, which fights against sexist. The whole evening is being organized by E Avant Tut, which fights against sexist and sexual violence. And all funds collected by the aforementioned raffle will be donated will be donated to this association. Une soirée anti-Valentine will be at Rose Bonheur on Thursday, February 16th from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. and is free to attend. For more information, please visit rosabonheur.fr. That's R-O-S-A-B-O-N-H-E-U-R dot F-R. What's that? More photos, you say? Well, may I direct you to those by Idan Wazan in an exhibit called La Peau Repensée, or Skin Rethought. As you can likely guess, Idan features images of tattooed people in his work. These images are of real people with real bodies, not actors and mo- not actors and models, and he considers his work a quote ode to the beauty of the most diverse bodies, encouraging us to overcome the shackles and stereotypes and stereotypes of standardized aesthetics. End quote. Through his work, Idan has photographed three thousand people wearing their individual wearing their individuality on their skin. Of those, around 30 have been chosen for this exhibit, quote, as surprising as they are authentic, end quote. La Peau Repensée will be at the Galerie La, Galerie La Lisson from Thursday, February 16th through March 11th and is free to attend. For more information, please visit studio-idon.fr. That's S-T-U-D... <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm just pronouncing this person's name. I just keep switching it up. <laughs> Studio Idan. Please visit studioidan.fr. That's S T U D I O dash I D A N dot F R. Speaking, speaking of celebrating the human form, Everybody the Festival is back for its second edition. This festival combines dance performances, sports lessons, and multiple workshops dedicated to well-being. Dedicated to well-being. You'll find meet and greets and debates, as well as a free contemporary art exhibit. But most people come for the dancing. You can take classes in various dance styles. You can take classes in you can take classes in various dance styles, like dancing in heels, Afro vibe. Whacking, K-pop, and cabaret dancing, and cabaret dancing with dancers from crazy, and cabaret dancer. Oh my God, really? And cabaret dancing with dancers from Crazy Horse Paris. You can learn different styles of yoga and ballet sculpt. There's even there are even drag king workshops. All these workshops will take place during the day, but once the lights go down, the stars come out. Every evening. Three shows by French and international choreographers will be performed for you, and these dance pieces will showcase what the body can do. Everybody will be at Le Carreau du Temple from Friday, February 17th through Tuesday, February 21st. For more information, including the full program, please visit lecarreaudutemple.eu. That's L-E-C-A-R-R-E-A-U. Let's try that again. L E C A R R E A U D U T E M P L E dot E U. For more art and activism, for more art and activism, let's head over now to the Palais de Tokyo, where two new exhibits will, where two new exhibits will spring to life. First up, Exposé. Or exposed, a collective exhibit inspired by Elizabeth Elizabeth Lavo 
Leibovitches. <sighs> Inspired by Elizabeth Leibovitches. Elizabeth Leibovitches book, What AIDS Has Done to Me, Art and Activism in Art and Activism at the End of the 20th Century. The artwork in this exhibit explores The artwork in this exhibit explores how the AIDS virus affected the artists, their work, societal norms, and people's The artwork in this exhibit explores how the AIDS virus affected the artists as well as how it affected their work and societal norms and people's mentalities. The virus isn't the subject of the the virus isn't the subject of the exhibit, but more like the framework for it, helping you to quote reconsider a large number of art reconsider a large number of artistic practices exposed to the epidemic to bring a discourse to the present by asking artists to question their history up to now by what has been transmitted to them from the past century end quote the second exhibit focuses the second exhibit focuses solely on the work of one artist Miriam Kahn titled ma pensée serielle or my serial thought this retrospective heavily influenced by second wave heavily influenced by second wave feminism showcases quote a range of contemporary images of our humanity and introduces reflections about systems of violence power nuclear power feminism or sexuality end quote you'll find drawings photography videos and writings on subjects ranging from politics to news to sociology to the body Exposé and ma peu, and ma pensée and ma pensée serielle will be at the Palais de Tokyo from Friday, February seventeenth through May fourteenth, and more information can be found at palaisdetokyo.com. That's p a l a i s d e t o k y o dot com. We've talked a lot this week about contemporary art and photography. So let's turn now to the past and view some artwork that we may be more familiar with in a whole new Okay. So let's turn now to the past and view some artwork and view some artwork that we might be more familiar with in a whole new light. Beginning on Friday, February 17th, two new two new digital exhibits filled with color and sound will be coming to the Atelier des Lumières. First, Chagall, Paris, New York, will focus on the work of, you guessed it, Marc Chagall, and specifically his connection with these two cities, both of which played important roles in his life. Paris was where this painter of Russian origin chose to make his home, while New York was, the, while New York was a city he escaped to during the tumultuous 1940s. During this exhibit, you'll hear classical, klezmer, and jazz music. The second exhibit will feature the work of German artist Paul Klee for 10-minute interludes. Above all else, Paul was a musician who became a great violinist, and this immersive exhibit will pay tribute to his two loves, music and painting. This exhibit will be, this exhibit will be accompanied by The Magic Flute by Mozart. Chagall, Paris, New York, and Paul Clay will be at the Atelier des Lumières from Friday, February 17th through to January 2024. For more information, please visit atelier-lumière.com. That's A-T-E-L-I-E-R-L-U-M-I-E-R-E-S dot com. Okay. <clears throat> Only three more. <sighs> Shall we add a dose of philosophy to your week? Let's do. Have you heard of French philosopher Gaston Bachelard? Well, he was interested. He was interested in exploring the relationship between art and science, creation and imagination, and in how these subjects can add to or take an can add to or take away from one another. 
He was also heavily influenced by the artists of his time, particularly the Surrealists. For the 60th anniversary of Gaston's disappearance, La Fab has organized an exhibit titled Bachelard Contemporain. This collective exhibit will highlight the influence that his work has had on thought and on art, and is broken. Oh, will highlight the influence that his work has had on thought and on art, and is broken down into six parts: air, earth, water, fire, science, and imagination. Categories taken from Gaston's own writings. Here you'll find nearly twenty French and international artists inspired by his philosophies. And the pieces will include installations, sculptures, photographs, video, drawings, and paintings. Bachelard Contemporain will be at La Fab d'Agnès B from Friday, February 17th through April 30th, and tickets are seven euros. For more information, please visit la-fab.com. That's la-fab.com. <clears throat> Has all this art talk worked up an appetite? Well, have I got a solution for you. After three years of absence, C'est Bon Japon, the Japanese Culinary Festival, will make its way will make its way back to the heart of the Marais. More than sixty participants from the worlds of Chinese Chinese. What? <coughs> Why did I what? Okay. All right, Princess Clickety, I only have two more, so you got to be quiet. If you want to come up, come up. You got to be quiet, okay? Faster, please. Thank you. More than 60 participants from the worlds of Japanese gastronomy, catering, tableware, tea, and tourism will come together to showcase the treasures of the land of the rising sun. In addition, in addition to beautiful items for purchase, like dish sets, like dish sets, like dish sets, ceramics, and jewelry, you'll find a series of activities. Why? What happened to my mouth? You'll find a series of activities and cooking workshops planned for the occasion. Attend conferences on ninjas. Take a photo session wearing fuku, fukubiki costumes. Hear traditional Japanese humorous tales. Watch the great Japanese tea competition, and so much more. C'est bon, le Japon will be at the Halle des Blanc Manteau from Friday, February 17th through Sunday, February 19th, and tickets are two euros. For more information, including a full program, please visit cbonlejapon.com. That's C-E-S-T-B-O-N-L-E-J-A-P-O-N dot com. Let's carry this week's photo theme on through to the end with one last exhibit dedicated to the work of Patty Carroll titled Anonymous Women. This colorful exhibit featuring bright yellows, greens, blues, and pinks includes around 20 photographs divided into four chapters. And what you'll notice about these bright, sumptuous photos, or maybe what you won't notice, is the nearly invisible is the nearly invisible women in each shot what patty wants to show are quote metaphors of the inner life of women how we substitute everyday objects and artifices and turn them into obsessions end quote she toes the line between humor and denunciation by illustrating the invisibilization <clears throat> by illustrating the invisibilization and victimization of women lost in the roles they must assume, the missions they must accomplish, the appearances they must preserve. You'll also find some of Patty's work on display in several metro stations from now through March 18th. Anonymous women will be at the Galerie 12 Paris from Saturday, February 18th through March 25th and is free to attend. For more information, please visit galerie-photodouze.com. That's G A L E R I E dash P H O T O one two dot com. 